Sabihin ng Dera Doon. Mili, a sales girl in a food center gets trapped in a refrigeration room at work. Everyone leaves unconscious of the fact that she's in the room, trapped, locked, leading to a harrowing night. This is the crux of the survival thriller. Me. Matakuti Xavier reappraises his 2019 Malayalam award winning film Helen. And since it has its genesis in Malayalam cinema, your expectations are high. And you would also believe that the film is crisp. Unfortunately, you definitely lose out on the later. This Jahanvi film, made by Papa Bonnie Kapoor and directed by Matu Koti Xavier, meanders. This one-line story of a survival of a survival thriller happening in a cold storage room of a hotel or of an eat center could well have been made in 80 minutes. But our cinema makers, and when I say our, you now include Kerala with Mumbai, when Hollywood meets Tollywood, or when Hollywood meets Bollywood, you would have thought Bollywood would learn. Unfortunately, it's the reverse over here. Jahannavi plays Millie, the central character, who dotes on an indulgent papa, played by Manoj Bawa. And her romantic interest in the film is Samir, played by Sunny Kaushi. Obviously, Papa does not know of the budding romance. Millie has her eyes abroad, wants to go to Canada, and is busy taking exams while she's working as a counter girl at a food center. Papa would like her to stay back, but she has ambition. And she's also willing to tell her boyfriend, Samir, that she has to go abroad because her calling is there. Samir, incidentally, is unemployed. Reason enough not to announce their blooming romance to Papa, who comes to know about it in tiring circumstances, when they are both summoned to a police station and Samir is accused of drunken driving. Papa's words of hope and faith comes shattering. It's when there's a cold war between Papa and her on the one hand, her and Samir on the other, that she gets trapped on this awful night. And the rest of the film is about how she has to survive the scenario. This entire story of getting in a boyfriend, getting in Papa, getting in a erring police officer, all of them seem to justify the character for survival. No, any human being is justified in fighting for survival. So you don't have to build a positive character to say that this person needs to survive. So you don't need a doting for a daughter. You don't need a romantic lover. None of them are relevant to a thriller which is on survival. As I said before, the semantics of our cinema is different. You have to make 130, 40 minutes of the film. You have to push it to two and a half hours. And that's what <coughs> Xavier does with this film. What works for the film definitely is the performance from Manoj Baba as the father. And uh, the other performances, including small roles from uh, Vikram, Ko uh, Vikram Kochar, as her boss, Anurag Arora as Satish Rawat, the inspector, very interesting performance. Sanjay Suri makes a very small appearance. And very specially, Sunny Kaushal as Samir gives the woman film a very pleasant romantic angle to the story. 
Janvi Kapoor gets the meaty role of playing the central character Millie, thanks largely, I suspect, to the producer. I wonder if any other producer would have gone to her with the script, especially when you would have had the likes of a Tapsi Pannu or a Kangana Ranao or many other talented girls who have so much of talent and willing to do these kind of roles. It goes for Janavi and believe me, we are not talking nepotism mainstream Mumbai. I'm only saying there were many other actresses who could have done what Janavi did much better. Problem with Janavi is while she tries and does deliver, I think she doesn't create that aura, that suffering, that trapped trauma is somehow not translated into reality. Is that the undoing of the movie? Maybe partly. Is it that the film is too long with props? Maybe. Should he make a survival thriller for two and a half hours? No. Then is two and a half hours the culprit? Maybe. But the end result is, I would have cut the film short by another 30-40 minutes at the editing table, if not at the script level. More so when you already make the film in two languages and see what the end product looks like. The end product in different milieus may have been very impactful. It is now obvious that Millie is not going to garner the same number of eyeballs as Helen did. This notwithstanding, Millie has its moments. It has some good performances. Just keeps you guessing about a while how is this girl going to get out of the challenge she has. Nothing more. Reasonably templated film. And all right for a weekend, but nothing that one would have to make an effort about. Acknowledgements to Ritika for getting the act together, Abhinav for putting it all together, and for carrying me in and shooting me out, thanks to them. Sign off with the hope and request that you would watch this and respond to it with your comments. So long. Have good. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.